Right, let's get this bread. All right, so today I'm gonna to eat a lot of bread. Now, I, I just wanna say that I didn't go out and buy a bunch of bread for no reason. <laughs> I am making a recipe that requires a lot of bread crumbs. And I thought instead of buying one, several types of one type of bread, I thought why not try a range of them and find out what actually is the best type of gluten-free bread. The UK is really lucky to have a lot of different types of gluten-free bread. I've just picked six, but if you wanna see more after this, like let me know what breads and I'll go and get them. So. We've got the Genius Soft White Farmhouse Loaf. Coming at, can I have these please? Thank you. Coming in at two pounds 50 and weighing a whopping 535 grams. This is a high in fibre, dairy-free and gluten-free loaf. Second, we have got the M&S Made Without Wheat Gluten-Free Bloomer Slices. Now I got this one because it was relatively small and I didn't have a lot of space in my bag. You get six slices. It's only 345 grams and it cost £2.40. Next up we've got the Waitrose Free From Gluten Free Sourdough. It is 400 grams and it cost £2.50. Next up is the infamous Wolverton's Gluten Free Tiger Bloomer. Now this one's known on Instagram to be the best gluten free bread. I've actually never tried it. It is 400 grams and it cost £3.40. Expensive. Fifth up, we've got the Shah Wholesome Seeded Loaf. This one's 300 grams and came in at two pounds. It was on sale. I think it's usually two pounds 40 or two pounds 70. And lastly, the only one that I actually have tried before, although not by itself, is the Tesco's Free From Bread. It's our cheapest at one pound 80 and it's 550 grams. So this is the cheapest both by weight and monetary value. Right, let's crack into it. Okay, first bread of the day. Oh, that doesn't smell the nicest. Right, texture. I wouldn't say the best. It's weirdly foamy. The taste isn't bad by itself, but the bread itself is super dry and super solid. It is actually just breaking apart on my fingers. Uh, Seriously, tastes not bad though. Okay. Whoa. It smells more sourdoughy. Texture's a better. Texture's better than the Genius one. Hmm. I don't mind that. Hmm. This would be good for a sandwich, I reckon. Obviously the negatives about it is that you only get six slices and it did cost £2.50. Um, so you only get, oh you get 345 grams, so they are big slices. Um, so the price would be the negative, but in all honesty it's not bad. Mm. I don't think I'll even crumb this one. This might be sandwich loaf. Oh, I'll need a knife, one second. Alright. I just, it looks really nice and I don't want to be disappointed by it. Do you hear that? Doesn't really sound very crusty. Mmm, smells sour. Okay. Mmm, smells good. Has, a, has, a, has a, almost a good bend to it. It's getting crumbed. I don't like it. <coughs> it's <coughs> so far the driest one I've had. It smells like sourdough bread. It doesn't really taste like sourdough bread. Once again, it's that foamy texture that's really putting me off. It's the Tiger Bloomer loaf time. God, I hope I'm not disappointed by this. This, this is the only one that there's a hype about, so I really don't want to be disappointed. Surprisingly light. Oh. That smells yum. What? That. That is some serious bend. Look at that. Almost like normal bread. Okay. 
her letters we've had. So hype is real and I want to shout out to this brew because I did get this one earlier than the other ones because I wanted to try it and then I thought no I'll, I'll try it for the video. I have had this for two to three days before I've even cut into it and it tastes so much fresher than the other ones. And it's so soft. Obviously it is the most expensive and I think that so far the quality would make it the most expensive like I get that. But I just think it's sad that people wouldn't be able to necessarily buy this bread because of the price like that's not the one I go to but it's the gluten-free bread that people deserve I reckon. Shah's up next. Now I just want to say I love Shah and I love most of their products. I haven't had the wholesome seeded loaf but I have had their white bread before and I wasn't very happy with it. But obviously they do a lot of other things that are delicious. So I just wanted to say that before I start shredding into the bread. It smells weird. Oh. It's actually not that bad. The seeds really pull it together. I'm not drinking this because it's gross. I'm drinking this because my stomach's full of bread and it needs something. Just soak it up. Considering it was on sale for two pounds. I know it's not normally two pounds, but it was on sale for two pounds, which is the second cheapest out of all the breads today. So hmm, I'm really happy. I'm pretty, pretty happy with that. Oh, and we finish on Tesco's. Tesco's, Tesco's, Tesco's. I find Tesco's free from products like either really hit or super miss. I did say I have had this before. So I kind of know what to ex expect and if it wasn't, I mean in saying that, I buy this bread quite often because I live by Tesco's and that's the cheapest one that they sell so, you know, I just toast it. I don't, I don't ever eat this one sandwich. No, no, that's not okay. No, Lincoln. Please I'm filming a video, mate. Come here, come here. Alright, come here. Yeah, we've got some holy boys in here. Not as bad, but definitely worse than the shower one. Um, and then there's one in the middle that's pretty much completely ripped open. Oh, it smells weird. Maybe it doesn't smell weird. Maybe I've just smelt too much bread today. Okay, if you guys are gluten-free that are watching this, which I assume you are because it would be a really odd thing to do if you weren't gluten-free, but if you aren't gluten-free and are watching this, like, respect that. Thank you. Please subscribe. I only make gluten-free content, but... If you are gluten free, what was I going to say? Oh, this one smells the worst. <laughs> okay, here's the final bread. It's not good. This one's definitely getting bread crumbed. I'm so over bread. What I was going to say is, and um, the gluten free people out there, do you guys remember what bread tastes like? Because I don't really, but I do really remember what it smells like. I actually used to work in a gluten bakery when I was like 15, 16, 17 years old, like as an after school job. The smell of freshly baked bread is just so nice. But then obviously now when we smell it, it's like a sense of danger. Like, where's the bread come from? Okay, so. Okay. This is gonna be the good end and this is gonna be the bad end. Sorry, Tesco's uh, genius was good either, actually. This um, one's Waitrose, it's definitely next one in Shah. And then our Brown Bloomer. And then Tiger Bloomer. So, annoyingly, the best spreads are the most expensive. Um, you still get a lot for the price. This one definitely tastes the best and I get why everyone's hyped about it. Like, it's great. Warburton's, you've done a great gluten-free bread. Just make it a little cheaper. Thanks. If you are looking for a good gluten-free bread and you don't mind paying the £3.40, 70 depending on where you buy it, then this one is a go. And you can cut it how you want and you do what you want with it. It's great. You still get 400 grams. Um, but because it is quite a light bread, it actually is a larger bread. So if we go to the second one, which I quite enjoyed, 
the M&S um, Brown Bloomer. This one is 345 grams, so pretty close, but it's tiny. This is definitely a good tasting one. It's just tiny and expensive. So look, didn't mind it. Turned out, didn't mind it. Um, had a couple of holes, but in, on the whole, I actually really like the seededness of it. There was a lot to like um, about it, but there was nothing to be wowed by. I know we're talking about gluten-free bread, and can you be wowed by gluten-free bread at all? Um, it is quite a small sandwich, like if we're talking about in terms of size, like it's a little wee little baby, like you'd probably get two of them. Actually, you probably could get two of those. How, many, how much grams is this? This is 300 grams, so this is less weight than this one. This also gets extra marks because it's the only one that doesn't contain egg. So I am assuming it's one of the only ones that vegan people can eat. So much less of a choice for vegan glute celiacs and I feel for you. Waitrose sourdough. Look, I wanted to love you, but I didn't. It was dense, so dry, didn't have a crust. It just wasn't my favorite. Genius. Soft white farmhouse, as I said, not very soft. I like the shape, like it's a proper toast size. That's a really good thing to say. Oh, this is the heaviest bread. So it's a good value for money, this one. And I'm sure it would be fine toasted. I'm sure any of these would be fine toasted with an egg on top. Like they will be fine. And we're just talking about plain bread. And then we come to sweet, sweet. And then we come to sweet, sweet Tesco's. Ah. Uh, like, but what are you really expecting? It's just bread. It's what you get for the money. It's £1.80, which is still, might I say, far more expensive than any good loaf of gluten bread. But it is the cheapest um, and it tastes the cheapest. But I've had this before and I've had it toasted and it's fine. Obviously, we're missing some big brands here. I didn't do Sainsbury's as do promised loaves, but if you would like to see me try more gluten-free bread, just let me know and let me know which ones you'd like me to try. Okay. If you like this video, please subscribe and give us a like um, and I'll see you in the next video. I've toasted a bit of the Genius gluten-free bread. It's fine. Oh yeah, it's, it's fine. Yeah, it's still not the best. Making breadcrumbs. Why am I still eating this? I'm so full of bread. So many breadcrumbs. So, quick update on the bread. It's been at least a week and it's confirmed my two favourites. Um, so, both the tiger loaf and the Eminence Bloomer loaf are completely fine. I'm still eating them. They taste almost exactly the same as they were a week ago. Uh, the Tesco's loaf and the Genius loaf got moldy within two days of being opened. The Shah loaf got hard pretty quickly. And to be fair, I don't know about the Waitrose because I ate it really fast because I ate a lot of French toast over the weekend. This is the last piece of Bloomer loaf. It still moves. It's, it's still wobbly. It is expensive, but it does last. And, and here's the Tiger loaf. Beautiful, still spongy in the middle. I don't really know how to show you. <laughs> the two that were my favorites were also the most expensive, but they were the best quality um, and they did last the longest. Yeah, sorry, just a final note. Thought it was important to say about the long living. Okay, bye. <laughs>